What's up, World 2 family? It's Abraham again, and today I'm going to be showing you how to keep your cap straight. This going to be my technique, and this knee you can use it on plate or pipe. Alright, let's get it. Alright, guys, so I got this plate tacked up. I drew two lines one, two, and just, this represents the weld right here. Um, this is your left side of the weld, and this is the right side of the weld, okay? So a common mistake people do when they're capping is uh, when they're about to throw their first bead down, they'll, they'll go straight right over it with the rod. They'll go straight over that line like this. Okay, like this. All right, and after they get done, on the left side, it looks all wavy. It's not straight, it's wavy. Why? Because they're, they, they're not lining up, they're not lining anything up uh, evenly. So what you gotta, you gotta remember is, you gotta line up the left side of the puddle with the left side of the bevel. Not the rod, but the puddle. Always watch the puddle, not the rod. Uh, it's a common mistake people do, they watch the rod, not the puddle. So when I cap, I, I line up the left side of the bevel, the left side of the puddle with the left side of the bevel. And I just keep watching my puddle, the left side edge of my puddle, and I keep watching it all the way through. All the way through. And then, and 10 times out of 10, I have a straight bead. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the way I do it. And that's the way I do it for pipe, plate, any position, that's the way I do it. And 10 times out of 10, I get it, I get it correct. All right guys, so remember guys, I'm gonna start welding right now. And what I'm gonna be watching as I go up, I'm gonna be only paying attention to the left side of the puddle. And I'm gonna be lining it up with this line right here. Strike my rod. Now watch me put it one, two, out, one, two, out, one, two, out, one, two, out. Notice how I'm lining up my puddle with the line. The left side of my puddle. Got a, got a little bit of slack peel. You see how the left side of my puddle's lined up? I follow that all the way through. All right guys, so now I'm, I'm gonna throw the middle bead of my cap. And when I do this, I also watch the left side. I don't worry about what's happening on the right side. I watch the left side. And I try to line up my puddle right in the middle of this bead. So I'm watching the left side of my puddle and I'm just right here, like this, right next to it. I only watch one side of the puddle, not both sides, one side. I pay attention to one side. Like this. I let my muscle memory take care of the other side. attention to the left side of my puddle. Yeah, the travel speed is consistent. This happens. Now for the third and final bead, same thing. I watch, I watch only the left side of the puddle. Not the right, just the left side. And I let my muscle memory take care of the other side. Again, I'm a zigzag. I'm be one, two, out, 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 one, two, out. That's, that's, and I count in my head just for, just so I can get, keep like a beat going and it keeps my travel speed consistent. Um, many people, like, I usually advise my students to count in their head. If, uh, it helps with the travel speed. Because if you're just moving up, you can slow down on some spots or speed up on some spots. You know, and by counting, it helps with your travel speed.
So just to give you a tip for uh, people who are just starting off or is that first time in refineries, uh, many old schoolers, what they do, old timers, what they do after they finish their cap, uh, they don't wire wheel it with the, uh, with the grinder. Um, they use a hand brush and they just brush it. The reason why is because when you wire wheel it, you're gonna show all your imperfections, all, every single one of them. So the best thing to do on your cap is just to hand brush it with a brush. Alright guys, there you have it. This is how I keep my cap straight. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch y'all next time.